crude oil wti has achieved 74 dollar levels and that is what we had said that beyond 73 levels certainly we can expect 73.5 74 levels and precisely that has happened in fact in the evening analysis also that was a call and 74 is achieved now trying to retrace natural gas on the other side has dropped significantly it has gone past 2.14 now what to expect today which position you should take in order to profit trading crude oil and net gas we will see with the help of charts and indicators do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon. Now, first we look into crude followed with net gas. Do watch till the end and remember this is the first analysis for the day. The next update will be released before the US session. Do watch that also. Join my telegram channel to keep yourself updated and posted about the latest analysis, latest release. Now, look at the early charts for oil. See sharp price trying to trade in this bullish channel. Flat head. Now trying to look down again and you can see this is trying to show you reversal after achieving 74. Now what is the next target 73.5 certainly a good support and then I will wait for it to break past 73 levels only and only if you see oil trading below 73 more bearishness can be expected. Now let's have a further detail look see the stock is still looking down the MACD is still red but see the slope is different the bullishness was stronger the bearishness is uh, you can see not so strong and it is just retracing here. RSI was also overbought and now trying to retrace a bit or look down. And if you look at 2 hour charts on the 2 hour charts it is trying to show a reversal here. But I will wait for the next candle and on next candle once it breaks past 73.5 levels certainly we can expect 73 and below that further drop can be seen there. Now see higher highs this time it is given you flat top which means 74 is giving it a very good resistance and then it can try to come down and how far 72.5 72 are again going to be a very strong support so see 73 72.8 levels you should wait for and if it trades below 72.8 certainly we can see a good drop stock i stick overbought the macd see the macd has crossed over for a sell here and this is happening at a slightly higher levels we can see whenever it has crossed over it has tried to pull it down also the slope has changed certainly it can try to bring bearishness and hence you can stay short below 73.5 levels where you can expect 73 72.2 72.8 and below levels rsi near to overbought if you look at three r charts see on the three r charts after this big bullish move this is just phase of consolidation not to be considered bearish till 72.8 is breached and below that only further bearishness may prevail you have to be cautious here and if you look at the stock elastic this is overbought the macd is in green trying to converge rsi near to overbought levels and if you look at four r charts now look at the four r charts classical megaphone pattern and still it is not to be considered very still it stays above 72.8 levels very very clear here because below that further drop there could be a sharper drop which might take it 72 71 and below levels now see what has happened it is still showed a good swing and if you look at the pivot is around 73.2 72.8 zone and hence this zone is going to be a very strong resistance zone a stock i stick is overbought macd is in green rsi is also overbought and if you look at the daily chart now see the daily charts on this candle uh, this daily candle on this chart is yet to start this is the yesterday's candle crossing over and see the bullishness is not there you can see it has achieved higher highs but the candle size compared to the previous candle is smaller and this also indicates that there could be slight retracement there could be a pullback but then 72 is a very strong support here also remember I told you see after a retracement there we can see this one candle and this second candle now if it stays above 74.2 certainly 75 is the target beyond which it is to be considered for a good reversal now what has happened if you see here lower highs lower lows very much trying to be in this channel that hence is you can stay short below 73.5 the stock i stick is back to overbought but look at the macd the macd crossover here is important this is Yesterday also I told you I showed you see whenever oil has crossed at these levels it tried to stay it tried to stay bullish it tried to recover and uh, yes a uh, possibility exists that once it breaks beyond 74 once again we can see a greener candle and this could be further sharper candle so uh, yes uh, the data from US is also there today and hence it can bring more volatility 
in oil it can show you uh, uh, lower levels and then can recover also and hence you have to trade accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss do not forget to yes uh, do not forget to like share subscribe and comment now let's have a look at net gas and yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably you should join my mentorship batch the 20th batch starts on 21st batch starts on 10th of april reserve your seats now it's reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description also uh, you can be part of my signals group reach out to me for more details now look at the early charts for ng ng after reversing a bit we can see there is a stronger or you can see this is the downward channel and hence we have to wait for now for it to break past 2.26 and 2.3 levels if these two are taken that should be considered a reversal sign and then we can expect another round of good rise where we can see it hitting 2.5 and beyond levels now see the stochastic is looking down the macd is bearish trying to converge here rsi is also dropped and trading near to the bottom and if you look at the two hour charts similar is the observation and you can also note that the complete movement is still very much in this channel waiting for it to break out and hence 2.1 levels should be very very stronger support today now if you look closely on the two hour chart see sharp red candles retracement and now again trying to look down hence you can sell here at 2.14 expect 2.12 and then 2.1 as a very strong support below that certainly in the near future we are going to look at 2, 2 and below levels the stock i stick is oversold trying to recover macd is bearish again rsi flat near to bottom now look at the three r charts see first of all lower highs are seen 20 period moving average giving it a very tough resistance here which is now situated at around 2.22 and then 2.25 levels so these levels certainly play a very important role you can also see see there is a downward push you can see the stronger uh, move here there is a long wick and a very small body and also on the downside there is a support which we had seen now here on the three hour charts it is trying to show a slight reversal and if the previous lows that is this levels that is at around 2.455 uh, so i will recommend that you can sell here at 2.5 and 2.4 2.15 and 2.14 levels if these levels are breached certainly further lows can be expected right now what it is trying is to show higher lows higher highs so it can retrace a little at around 2.175 2.18 2.2 levels stock elastic oversold macd bearish here and if you look at rsi this is again at bottom look at 4 hour chart on the 4 hour charts it appears there is a wall at around 2.25 it failed to breach the wall at the same time on the downside the lower levels are pretty much intact so the 20 period moving average and the bottom is almost there and that is where i said yes 2.515 you can sell but then expect 2.14 as a good support and then 2.12 if these two are taken there could be further sharper drop today on the upside 2.25 is something which needs it needs to it needs to break in order to sustain the bearish momentum stock i stick back to oversold macd divergent and bearish rsi flat and if you look at daily chart now look at daily chart see day before i told you that this has shown a breakout and after the breakout this is increasing bearishness increasing candle size also the bottom of the bollinger bands now situated at 2.12 and 2.1 very good support exists here it is still trading in this uh channel and uh, yes for the day 2.25 and 2.28 levels to be breezed in order to re confirm the reversal the stock elastic is oversold macd bearish rsi at bottom so considering this you can sell at 2.15 levels itself but then 2.14 2.12 are good support and if it breaks below 2.12 we may see further bearishness which can extend till 2.1 2.06 and 2 dollar levels on the upside you can buy here at 2.17 but rather i'll say 2.18 and then expect 2.2 2.24 2.25 rather and beyond 2.25 it is going to fly high so i'll wait for it to break past 2.25 in order to confirm the reversal take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a tailing stop loss join my mentorship badge join my signals channel reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you